As soon as I get out of here, I will kill you. What kind of meds have they put on to you? Drugs? <laughs> Morphine! <laughs> yeah! That's it, dude. Been... What? I have it enough for you. Okay, then fuck off. Go away. Don't don't kill me, though. It's time that you learn a lesson respecting those who admit their mistakes. You're not admitting your mistake, you motherfucker. You say, oh, it's anyone's fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Mother motherfuck. Anger Jeff has he killed you in a bl <laughs> Why is that in this hospital? Wants to kill me. Come on. What the hell? <laughs> this is the worst hospital I've ever been into. What the heck? Hello there everyone, I'm Clown Ebel, and today I proudly present to you a game that has been specially made for Italians, helping hand. This is not a game about fapping, it's about a poor guy who after an accident went to a hospital and uh, he has only his left hand in order to communicate uh, with the others in the hospital. So as we Italians are famous in around the world for our weird and, and exaggerated gestures, I'm gonna teach you some of them so you can actually understand what they mean while playing this great game. So without further ado, let's dive into this. So I'm, I'm moving my fingers with uh, the numbers from 1 to 4 and the spacebar. Oh good, you're awake. Hi doctor, very unhappy doctor. We were worried about you. Well, I'm worried too, since I'm in a hospital with a terrible painting. Don't panic, you've been in an accident, but you're okay now. Yeah, alright. As you can see, I can move my fingers. Well, I mean, you're alive. Yeah, I can kind of see that. This might be hard for you to hear, but almost every part of your body is broken. Your toes? Broken. Well, shit. Your fingernails broken. Oh no, I just had the manicure. Fuck. <laughs> the muscles in your mouth broken. What? Unfortunately, the only thing that you can use to communicate is your left hand. Anyway. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling good, doctor. Actually, this is more of an American gesture. That, great, that's good to hear. From now on, if you ever need to communicate with us, just use your hand. Uh, I don't get it. I point a finger at the sky. Uh, let me see. I think it's time to introduce you to the nurse. Yeah, peace to you, Frela. <laughs> Barbara is ready for you. What? Oh, you need some work on my magical fingers? I said he's ready for you. Hehehe. <laughs> All right. Nurse. Oh, great. You sure she's a nurse? She's more like a South, South American rebel. Another shitty job for the oldest nurse in the hospital. Why do I have... Why do I always get the weird ones? You're you're disgusting. Well, fuck you. Here's the horns gesture. What's that supposed to mean? You look a little reckless creeple. Look at you. Shut up. I say no. Off with her head. At least we know your bones are made of rock and roll. Now, now, nurse. Yeah, everybody's unhappy in this hospital. Let's try to be as sympathetic as we can. Sympathetic, sympathetic. Well, fuck you, nurse. Oh, I can't do the. I can't do the middle figure. You better still have control for your bladder. I'm going for a smoke. Oh, inside the hospital, huh? Haha. <laughs> oh, never mind, nurse. Uh, Barbara, she's an asshole. She will be in charge of taking care of you every day. Oh, great. She will check your vitals and clean your catheter. So try as be as nice as you can. Nope. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, one more thing. If you ever need the nurse Barbara, just press the blue button. Careful though, try to not bother her too much. Yeah, or else she will kill me while I sleep. Okay, she might not come off in if you. Okay. I guess I uh, will just be here looking at that worst painting uh, I have seen in my entire life, checking my health status, and uh, my bladder slowly emptying itself. Alright. Hello there, handsome. Oh, my darling. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Try. My poor baby? Is that my mom? You look like so, you're so much in pain. My mom is just so young. What happened to you? What did you do? Uh, I had an accident. Your father wishes he could be here. <laughs> but you know him, always in a meeting. Uh, yeah, that motherfucker. He sends his love to you, though. Okay, we were both, uh, <clears throat> we both so worried about you when you didn't come back tonight. Are you going to be okay? The doctor has been around today. I'm sure he's busy with other patients. Yeah, I'm just bothering other people for no reason. You know. Cindy messaged me to ask you about about you. What the hell is he? Who is she? I told her that I just haven't had the chance to see you. She was so shocked that I didn't come straight away. 
Like, was it, what was what what was I supposed to do? I mean, it's not like I could have just walked in wheels. They uh, the uh, what or whatever it's called. Uh, and besides, uh, what the hell are you saying? I I had to look after your little sister because she had just fallen asleep. I could risk uh, waking her up. You know how she gets when she. <laughs> okay, I guess this conversation will go. <laughs> oh, I took the time to make a sandwich. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've heard that food here can be a bit hard. Bad. Okay. Can you open your mouth, sweetie? Uh, actually not. No, I can't. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> what? Does that mean you're okay? No, I'm not okay, mom. No, I can't. Sweetie angel, can you maybe try something to me that's... Uh, blah, blah, blah? What? It's a bit too fast, the scrolling. I still don't really know what you're trying to say, but I'm so happy that you're alive. I promise that I'll come visit you again as soon as you get out of the ICU. Take care, my sweetheart. Okay, mom. Well, thank you. Thank you for the peace, mom. How do I do peace? Oh god. Peace. Uh, I want to do the peace sign. Yeah, peace, mom. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, while we're here, I'm gonna expose you some of the famous gestures we can do with our hands. Now, I can't seem to do the middle finger for some reason, although we have this particular... Uh, it's representing the horns of the devil, which uh, it's an insult... Uh, uh, meaning uh, generally bad luck, but also saying uh, it's like an insult that's saying that uh, your partner is cheating on you. Well, hello there, son. The doctor told me that you cannot speak, but I will try to interpret. Uh, My name is Pastor Daniel. Are you from Nisha? I'm here today to help you through pain and torment with the power of prayer. For there is nothing that our Lord and Savior, Chew Boy, cannot do. You can pray for as long as you find comfort in his life. Uh, well, screw you. Would you like to join me now as we pray the Holy. Yeah! <laughs> the, uh, the horse of the devil! Oh! How dare you meet your lord's presence in the room with the sign of the devil? Please, I must implore you, ask for forgiveness right now. Nope! Otherwise, I'm not sure what will happen to you. Right, that's it. I always like to tease uh, Christian people, because I, yes, I used to be a Christian. I left them with no choice but to cleanse my spirit. It's such a pity, you had such potential for us and lord. But now, I guess you will have to suffer for your sins. Well, fuck you, said this large temple is able. Vivamos vel felis vite magna. Condimentum, just random Latin. Condimentum. Ut ultrices orci purus That's so fast, man. I can't keep up with that. What the heck? Am I dying? Am I dying because I've been not a priest? What the heck? You angered the priest as, as a result, he decided to perform an exorcism. <laughs> You tragically die as your body could not handle the demon juices running through your veins. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my tombstone is just a middle finger right in the face. Okay, so I better not piss off the the priest apparently. Okay, so we're gonna replay that a bit. Okay, while well, this bullshit goes going on, uh, electric explain the other. So as I was saying, this one indicates the horns of the devil, uh, meaning that your partner is cheating on you or either. Uh, wishing you bad luck for stuff or also avoiding yourself for bad luck some people that are superstitious use that in order to uh, push bad luck away so this one then is a gesture fam made famous by the uh, imperials back uh, emperors and kings of Rome uh, in the gladiator fights to say no off with his head I mean kill him uh, then what do we have the middle finger I, I think you all know that uh, I can do the umbrella gesture since uh, I have not <laughs> available both arms. And let's see. Okay, the horns I made it. Uh, this is the sort of uh, the, the call. Well, it was like, yeah, something's going on around here. And then this is the, the scout sign, the scout salute. Since I, I had uh, scouts for about 10 years, I've done them. So I know what I'm talking about. Then what else? I think we are done with the gestures. Oh, this one is very famous and everyone says so capish. It's actually... Uh, this one is uh, actually to show that you didn't understand properly what another person is saying. Like, what what, uh, what are you saying? I don't understand. Uh, or to precise something like, what the hell? What are you doing, bro? You know, just uh, like in the Bronx, they're saying, you're disgusting. Well, fuck you. Horns of the devil. You little reckless cripple. Uh, I'm gonna do signs of peace to you. Look at you. Yeah, peace for everyone. <laughs> okay. Then what else do we have in Italy? Mm, let me think. 
Then we have this like uh, sign that is go, go to hell or go fuck yourself. Uh, it's like that. I mean, it's like going way above my head and I don't care. So with that, I think we ended up the most famous signs an Italian person can do, even though we have some more. Um, now I think I will go through some swearing words. So if you don't want to hear them, just uh, cover your ears and won't listen to that. So our most famous uh, bad word as meaning fuck, uh, it's vaffanculo, which is uh, some uh, literally it uh, translates to go fuck yourself. Uh, but it also we use bad words in order to like uh, address back to the person who already insulted us. So it's like also a response to that as well. If you someone say fuck you and you say go fuck yourself, it's like vaffanculo or fanculo to say like fuck you just straight away uh, in a more easy way then uh, we have uh, oh hi mom by the way and um, a very common insult that we have in room is l'anima di mortacci tua or mortacci tua that is uh, uh, insulting his dead relatives in a way that uh, someone if someone says uh, something bad about you you say that l'immortacci tua and you address that to his dead relatives it's just it's like a uh, uh, expecto patronum uh, not expelliarmus something like that something that gets back the message to the sender and also you, you can use it as a standalone insult uh, someone it's like a very it's very common in Rome so you will hear pretty much all the Roman people saying that uh, can't you speak I can't speak I can't definitely can't speak man I think you can see I, you can see all of my body <laughs> covered in bandages. I think you can arguably understand that I cannot speak. <laughs> okay. Take care, my sweetheart. I mean, if we were, if we were in a... Yeah, okay, mom. I love you too. <laughs> all right. Also, this gesture is um, um, meaning also the asshole as well. Or the vagina. Uh, just so you know. And also, that's a very, very boring and annoying game that... If someone shows you that, uh, you get to be punched in the shoulder. Although you can always uh, punch back harder, actually. Okay, I'm trying to call the nurse. Because my P levels are rising a bit too much. I don't want to, the tide to overflow the bridges. What is the pest control? I won't have to look you after your whole day. I have things to... I want... Ah! I want... You need to control my P levels. You know, P levels, peace. What are you, one of those dirty little hippies who explained your poor hygiene? I'll, I'll empty your catheter and fill your drip again. If you don't need me, don't call me again. Yes, uh, Che Guevara, <laughs> something. <laughs> she looks a really lot like, you know, the uniform of uh, South American military forces. She's, I'm pretty sure they're preparing a rebellion for that. Okay, so I just wait here. This is a hospital room simulator as well. Okay, that's interesting. So I don't want to call her again. Still, I want to meet again the priest. Because I'm actually, I'm agnostic, so I'm not religious. I used to be Christian once, uh, and when I was like 11 or 12, I just say, okay, that's not something I really actually need in my life. So I'm just kind of, eh, not Christian anymore. My, yeah, Pastor Dine again, you asshole. <laughs> he just killed me because I wasn't Christian at all. Or I wasn't praying uh, Lord uh, Chubawi. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, I guess... Uh, would you like to join me now as we pray the Holy Father? No, no, thank you. I don't really want to. Oh, come along now, child. Okay, hopefully it won't kill me this time. I know that you may bust be in pain. But if you pray to the Lord, he will help you through it. I, I think I'll... Uh, no, I don't want to pray. No, I don't want to pray. Now, now. You are, you are very precise. Are you like a Jehovah, Genova, uh witness or something like that? <laughs> they just go all around the people that cannot say back. I probably say, we'll get a lot. No! Fuck off! Right, that's it. Another exorcism. Ah, fuck. Okay, I'll die again. So, like, the Je Jehovah witnesses will just go around from hospital to hospital, just bothering people that cannot answer back, actually. Cannot reply back. Okay, so I guess I died once again. Okay, I guess I'll have to pray then. Although, is it if you someone religious is watching this, do not take this as a 
as an offensive way. I mean, it's like a, I just like to tease uh, Christian, especially Catholic people a little bit because I used to be one. So it's just pulling your legs. It's, it's just a joke. Uh, it's nothing really offensive. That do not take that as an offensive way. But just like to tickle your uh, faith and the religious uh, beliefs a bit. Okay, so we have to go through all of this again. See you in a bit. Uh, let's see what other practical and useful Italian insults you can uh, you can learn. Like a, another famous one is stronzo. Uh, yeah, I'll be nice as I can. Yep. Okay. Uh, stronzo that means jerk. Uh, roughly translated, it's a very like uh, vaffanculo, jer uh, stronzo are very offensive words uh, unless you are with among friends and it's like you know that you're joking but if you say that to uh, another people randomly it's a very quite uh, heavy insult so you need you need to be properly uh you know you need to be sure of saying that because uh, it's a very heavy word then we have a pezzo di merda that uh, literally trans uh, translates to piece of shit we young people do give uh, so much less uh, importance to these kind of words, uh, so we just insult each other all the time without, you know, actually meaning that. Uh, it's like a way to, uh, you know, maybe someone is uh, making fun of you and they say a bad word to him. It's like, you know, just stop it, but not in a in a very aggressive way. It's like uh, more of a okay, cut it off now. So no big deal. It's time for the priest to come again. Hello, dear priest. Trying to. Get me back into the grips of uh, <laughs> being Catholic again. Hi there, CB. Well, hello there, child. Yep, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> so annoying, man. I, I'm pretty sure that all the people around me are religious. So you can talk to them whatever the hell you want. Like all day long. But why do I have to go always for me? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Would you like to jump in now as a whole? Okay, yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so happy to see that the accident has not dampened your spirits, child. You know, our Lord has promised us a safe. The prophets have told us that there will be a soul that would have endured a lot of physical pain. To say that the soul will guide us to a heavenly promised land, like me. Uh, let us praise our Lord Chewy Boy and ask him to get. Okay, ask him to grant us speedy recovery. Gracious Chiwi boy, we gather ourselves here today. Make your please guide our friend here through a speedy recovery. Well, thank you. We ask that you grant this prey, Lord Chiwi Is that a real person? So that your humble servant can once again start following every your command. We ask that you pour your strength into these bones, so that they become stronger than before to do your work, Lord Chiwi boy. Okay. Well said. Our Lord and Savior Chiwi boy looks down on you. You truly are everything that prophets have foretold. So I'm the new Messiah, apparently. I pray that you have a quick recovery so that you will lead your people to safety. I need to leave now, but you are in my prayers. Goodbye, child. Okay, goodbye, killer priest. Apparently, everyone in this hospital wants to kill me. The nurse, the priest, pretty, I'm pretty sure also the doctor. Uh, my P levels are going a little bit higher than they should be. So actually, nurse, will the button go down? Thank you, button. Okay. <laughs> I don't really want to pee to spread over the place. Ma, what is it, you little pest? I want to join the revolution. Okay, uh, you need to change my bags, uh, really, Missy. Thank you very much. You know, you should always appreciate uh, the people. Uh, you know, I change my pee bag, please. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. So, um, as I was saying, you really need to thank me, to thank all the people that are working for you in the hospital and be nice to them even though sometimes they might not be doing their job very well as we experience in some of our uh, hospitals but uh, let's try to be nice with them because they are doing a very hard job i mean being a nurse uh, especially a nurse uh, is like one of the worst and most difficult and that what the hell are you elvis phew what the heck who are you Okay, here goes nothing. What the, f what the fuck? Hey there, kiddo. Is that my father? You probably don't remember me. Oh, you're the one that... You're the one to put me in this. I've come in here to apologize to you. Oh, motherfucker. Are you going to try to me as well? My name is Jeff. <laughs> I'm the truck driver that uh, got you here. Oh, fuck off. 
We had a, a really terrible accident. It's not really anyone's fault. Oh, really? There was this cat, you see. Well, fuck you. She ran across the road and I had to swerve, you know. I didn't want... Yeah, sure as that. Motherfucker. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Alright, phew. What the heck? I'm sorry. What? I just say to fuck off. You're such a champion. What? Son of a bitch. I... The day I get out of here. You know, I thought I was gonna... I, I, I want to kill you. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to kill that. As soon as I get out of here, yeah, I mean... As soon as I get, as I get out of here, I will kill you. What kind of meds have they put on to... Oops, drugs? <laughs> Morphine! <laughs> yeah! That's it, you but... What? I have enough of it. Okay, then fuck off, go away. Don't, don't kill me, though. It's time that you learn a lesson respecting those who admit their mistakes. You're not admitting your mistake, you motherfucker. You say, oh, it's anyone's fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Mother... Motherfuck. Anger Jeff has... He killed you in a... <laughs> Why is that in this hospital? Wants to kill me. Come on. What the hell? <laughs> this is the worst hospital I've ever been into. What the heck? Okay, bye priest. So apparently, in order to save myself from this hospital of horrors actually, uh, first of all, I need to empty my bladder. Second of all, <laughs> I just need to say okay to everyone. <laughs> it just, you know. Uh, yeah, I need to pee, sorry. <laughs> so apparently, it's like, uh, yeah, I need to pee, you know. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, nurse. You're doing your job so great. Yep. Don't worry about that. Okay, so in order to survive more than... The doctor saving me and stuff, uh, and to say okay to everyone. This is like a kind of like a representing real life in which everyone fucks you in the ass whenever you say, oh, it's only, yeah, okay. Just if you say just okay to everything that occurs to you, like you know, get people to step over your head, at some point, you'll, well, other than that, you'll bust, to, just, you'll bust out of rage. But also, you, you get yourself in a position of someone. Whenever never stand up for himself, you know, or herself, is a, as a, if you're a woman. So, yeah, I'll have, you know, but probably in this case, my life is more important than this. So I guess I'll have to come to terms with them. <laughs> or else they're gonna kill me anyway. <laughs> you know, that was a pretty scary story. A real one, though. That happened in Italy a while ago. There was a killer nurse that actually killed s several people. Like, I don't know if 10 or, or more of them. It's actually... Uh, I don't remember the reason, maybe to ease their pain, and, or maybe because she was just crazy. Uh, but yeah, it was a very terrible story. I, I think I'm one, <laughs> I'm one of the story of that kind right now. When I saw a panther, you know, it was an instinct almost. I'm so glad that this hadn't been more awkward, you know. I mean, it's, it means a lot that you've been so positive and kind. Sure, I guess uh, you don't really want me to... <laughs> <laughs> to kill me, I guess. I don't think you know how much weight has been lifted. Okay, if you need, a, if you ever need my help, I'll always be there for you. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, you have to pay the, the insurance. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's not like uh, I'm just leaving you off of your duties, you know. All right, so I guess uh, guest killer, welcome again. <laughs> okay, the B button is okay for now. I wonder how many people will have to save myself from in order to survive in this hospital. Actually, I have nothing else to do, apparently. Oh, the doctor again. Always unhappy as, always, as always. Well, look at you. You seem to be stable now. Great! <laughs> in a matter of minutes, actually. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really didn't think you make it, but you've pulled through. Yeah, you'll probably be moving you to the general world soon. Okay! That's great. So I survived the psychiatric kind of level <laughs> with all the psychos are in here to kill me actually. Okay, and that was the game. Okay, it was a very very fun and little inventive game made by Aidan Campbell, Benjamin Crooks and Andrea Hayes. I don't think any of these are Italians, but this game is especially made for Italians and that's why I wanted to play that. Hope you guys enjoyed this game and uh, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself if you want to try to survive in the mindless uh, hospital horrors. 
Thank you very much developers for making this game. I really appreciate it as an Italian person <laughs> that you made a, a game about uh, hand gestures so we can express our nationality properly. And uh, congrats on making this game and I really wish you the best of luck in uh, putting a full release, uh, probably a story going through the next world and try to survive all the other crazy psychomaniacs <laughs> that want to kill ourselves. And uh, yeah, best of luck with that. And uh, thank you also for watching. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think of these games. Uh, feel free to suggest me some others I should play for you. It's always a pleasure to do that. And we will see each other again in the next video I will make. And remember, if you can sleep, the clowns are gonna... Mm, the... Good night.